Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to F-Zero GX on the GameCube. Last time we just got things started off, sticking with mostly Captain Falcon, but browsing the pilot profiles here. This time, we're gonna be James McCloud, because Pyrex will be cool, but we'll save that for next time. Get ready for this dude's Iron Maiden-like music. Age 32, McCloud is the leader of the Flight Squad Galaxy Dog. <laughs> he had his machine converted to an F-Zero racer. During peacetime, there's very little work available, so McCloud is going for the money. Motivated to become the new champion by thoughts of his wife and young son, both of whom need his support. I wonder if that's a nod to Fox. Well, look at this thing, man. It's an R-Wing. Practically picture it firing its lasers. I like it. So let's do it. I've actually tried this and kept dying already. Let's go into the next cup in the novice circuit. The Sapphire Cup. But yeah, we can fly off the track now a lot, so that kept happening. But we're gonna keep doing it till we get it right. Get it right or pay the price. Quite literally, actually. Big Blue. Doesn't have the classic song, but... It's good all the same. It's actually really cool. Underwater tunnels. Absolutely. Look at that car in front of me, I like that one. I want to try to take out some dudes with the spin attack and the shoulder bash if we can. But yeah, James McCloud, he's got a body rank of E, so that means... If you're going to use him, either know what you're doing or stick to the easy cups. Because the more you crash, the faster he dies. Or, I mean, he's just very fast to die in general because of that ranking. I don't really know the full story of James McCloud and the F-Zero thing. Because I think it has no affiliation with Fox. It's just kind of like a nod to it. I mean, the Squad Galaxy Dog? What the heck is that? Then again, what the heck is Star Fox or Star Wolf? Yeah, there's just one turn. It's a quick left, followed by an immediate right. It fakes you out. Gotta be ready on that L and R button, man. Here we go, it's coming up. Left, but not really. I turned right too early, still anyway. Yeah! That's actually good. I placed third before when I was flying off the track in some of these next ones coming up. Just gotta know at all times it's the final lap and be ready to boost, I guess. On Novice, they give you the chance to fly up ahead. Port Town Aerodive, the Smash Bros stage. Hey, here's Rob too, that's kinda cool. But from what I've noticed so far, none of the tracks in this cup slow down the way Sand Ocean did, so hopefully that maintains true. Get out of here. Nuts. We did take somebody out. Look at there's 29 out of what we started with 30. The spin is a lot easier to do in this game. You just press Z. And the, the side shoulder bash, you just hold X and either press left or right. So it's actually easier to take people out in this compared to the N64 controls, which had you kind of rotate stuff, I think. I still don't know how long do you want to stay airborne for maximum distance. So yeah, actually the first three or four tracks of this I have practiced because I kept dying on them. Yes! First place! 28 racers now. Somebody else died. I don't know if I did it. Yeah, whoever that is in second. They have a really cool car. But I think they're also one of the grade E body ranks. I've noticed that. All the cool looking shaped cars in this have very weak body ranks. We gotta go for that dog guy. 
the little like blue tank car, whatever the heck it is. But we also have to save up our tickets and try to actually progress the story mode too. And I found it, it costs 20 tickets. Crap. I cannot hit anything, stop it. Who is that? What's that weird Captain America knockoff guy? Yeah, F-Zero has a whole thing, like a comic or something. Kind of weird. It makes you wonder why they haven't. I mean, I guess if you look at the cutscenes and voice acting of this game, you could understand why they haven't done anything, and they just kind of decided to forget it ever existed. Because that part of it's not very good, but... I don't know, I still say there's no excuse for... The absence of F-Zero, Wave Race, 1080 snowboarding, and of course, Star Fox. Oh no! Well, we can't be cutting out everything. All right, let's just get it right and then not pay the price. What is that? That's from Salute Your Shorts. Camp on a wanna, we hold you in our hearts. And when we think about you, it makes me wanna fart. It's I never wanna part. Get it right or pay the price. That's what that's from. Salute your shorts, man. That's going back. Nickelodeon guts, double dare. Man, how do we go back to the 90s? Legends of the Hidden Temple? They also had the British variant that I just learned about, Jungle Run or something, which actually seemed better. Blue Barracudas, Orange Monkeys. No, Orange Iguanas, Red Monkeys. No, Green Monkeys, Red Jaguars. Colors much? Colors and animals. Silver Snakes. They never won, the Silver Snakes, man. They had like the coolest name. That would have been so cool to get on that show as a kid. Oh, hey, what are you doing slowing down now? Can't be doing that. What's happening? Windows update? No. Stupid PCs, man. Stupid. If you're gonna have a gaming machine, have it do one thing. Gaming. I know. It's just ignorance and lack of money. That's what it is. You got boost power! Up to the very last turn! Sharp! Dang it. That one's fun to get if you skid with the air turn just right. Final lap! I thought we were on it for some reason already. Probably because we've done a bunch of laps because I died. Body rank of E isn't as noticeable as it is in N64. Like, if, if you pick a car like this in F-Zero X and you bump just three or four times, it's already beeping at you that you're about to die. But there's a lot of tracks in that game where it's very easy to get stuck on a wall, and if you grind against the wall, it just drains your shields. Not too bad, man. Let's see, who do we got? The White Cat, Mighty Hurricane. King Meteor and Green Panther are the rivals, though. What's next? Mobius Ring, Green Plant. This one is just a circle. Kind of weird for... Um... You can fly off though, this is the one. I got this far and I kept dying. Cause there's a straightaway where you wanna build up speed but then it's followed by a death thing. 
It's very subtle, though. It's just you gotta be ready for it. Why is it called a Mobius ring? That's a math term, isn't it? Because I remember Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, there's a warp tile you collect in that game that is the Mobius infinity symbol. And, uh... Like the Mobius Crest, and that's the first time I ever saw anything of that kind, that name. And then I remember being in a math class and seeing it again. And now here we are, although this is not the infinity symbol. Alright, so now that we have boost powers, part of the problem here. Just pay attention to the bottom right of the screen and know when you're on the straightaways. And make sure when you are that you say to yourself, that's a way. <laughs> now, my friend's dad always said that when we played soccer. And it was like the most motivating thing. You'd be like running around, not really doing too well. But then every now and then something good would happen. And you'd just hear your friend's dad get all excited and be like, that's a way. I don't know why. It's just funny to me. Because like inside your inner monologue then is like, yeah, that is a way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's always instead of the way. Kind of a boring track, honestly. I think so far F-Zero X I do like better, but maybe that is a nostalgia bias. I don't know. But see, the difference was this is... I didn't even realize that was the final lap. I would have boosted more. But, uh, this was Sega, which is why that noise sounds exactly like the same noise in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Sega and something else teamed up. I don't know, it says it on the title screen. Port Town Long Pipe? Uh-oh. The kind of pipe you can launch off of? Because that could be bad. Are we on top or inside of that? Only one way to find out, I guess. Inside, it looks like, at least for this beginning part, but that late part of the map that looks like a three cones back to back. That doesn't bode well. Oh god. This was track three of the first cup, was something like this in the other game. It's funny, if you look ahead, or like if you look at the sides of the screen, it feels like it's really fast. But if you look at your racer, which is what you do, pretty much, Wait, can you collide with this crap? That's a scary section, man. At least you can't fly off, but... Well, what I was gonna say, it's kind of like an optical illusion. Sometimes, depending on where you look on the screen, it either goes fast or it doesn't, in terms of how it scrolls. Ah, oh, crap, you can ram into junk. That's not good, especially with a body rank of garbage. Those tin cans are no match for me. You can practically hear Andros. This would be like the Venom Tunnel. And Andros would be taunting you the whole time. That would be so cool, what the heck? We're going sideways. Saying it like Peppy now. Good lord. Alright, this is this is not good. How do you get good at something like this? Just practice, I suppose. I wanna meet the guy that first try everything. 
aces it. Sometimes people on the internet act that way. Well, yeah. If you've never played something before, chances are you're not going to be very finessed. And you're going to look back at that footage six months later after, after playing the game for six months straight or something and want to stick your nose through a bandsaw. Because you can't believe how bad you once were. So it goes, I guess. We're not gonna place first. No way. Wait, what? Fish. Novice rubber banding or reverse thereof. I'll take it, man. I don't care. I could tell if that's what a sign of things to come, there's no way I could probably even beat this on expert. I bet you you take more damage in those higher things, too. Maybe not. Mid City Serial Gaps. Four stars difficulty. Let's do it. My god, dude. This is it. Zero lives down on the bottom left. I keep falling off of the thing. I know it says serial gaps, but they weren't kidding. So if I die, this, I gotta redo everything all over again. I don't wanna have to redo all the commentary and Jill. Not that it's amazing. Alright, stick to the right here. Avoid the mines. Then get right dead center again. Now get ready to hug the left. Avoid those arrows, they jump you, they send you flying off the track. Now get in the middle. Stay middle as good as you can. And I can't land on that upper path. So this would be the time to boost when we get it. It's the safest part. Okay, so that's the lap, we're in last. But you know what, that's fine. I have to be careful. Throttle the gas even. Okay, center to build up. Well, we don't even have to. I crashed into that pole because I didn't jump jump that center before. All right, hug the left. Avoid the jumps. Get in the middle. Stay in the middle. Nuts. All right, boost. Now we actually have to try to win. All right, wait, wait. Hang on now. No, all right, we're still safe. Lay off of the boost, focus on not dying. Alright, boost here. Shields a little bit, get to the right, get to the middle. L to hug the left. Get ready to switch to R now. But not too much that you go flying off to the right. It's actually not too bad, I think I got it this time. Boost like a madman. Second place, I'll take it. Place. It's better than retiring. I don't think that guy was the Red Gazelle. I don't think he was the rival. No, he was in seventh overall, so yeah, we won. Not first place the whole way. It probably will never be that way again from here. But uh, I think this is all I'm gonna do today. I will do the next cup and probably be Bio Rex for that. And I want to unlock more of the story, but this is going to be a Let's Play that kind of comes out when it does. I'm not really rushing this one. It's kind of just like a side shoot thing. Off shoot. So I'll probably stick this in the middle of Star Fox Command videos, and then maybe like tomorrow's video we'll go back to Star Fox. And in the meantime, be thinking about a bigger Let's Play that I need to start, whatever the Patreon poll wins. Still don't have a PlayStation 5. It never actually came out. It might be tomorrow that the restock happens that I was talking about. 
We'll see. I think if they do make another one for the Switch, they have to give it a little more something, though. Because now, having played all three F-Zero games, I think the N64 one is the best. But I do like what they did here in terms of letting you customize a few things. Every character has their own theme song, that's kind of cool. Like the bios and the, the customization is a neat feature, I suppose. But for the actual racing, I would say go with the N64. Oh yeah, interview time! It was so good the last time. We gotta choose a different question. From the special F-Zero GP venue, we're broadcasting an interview with the Grand Prix champion. Okay then, I'd like to ask you something. Uh, why did you become a racer, I guess? Can you tell us why you became an F-Zero racer? Galaxy Dog was running at a loss. Thank you for the interview. <laughs> That's it, everyone. <laughs> we'll see you at the next Grand Prix. My god, it's so awful. Galaxy Dog was running at a loss. With the teeth that moved all weird. The GameCube Thanks mouth play. movements. Yeah, I don't know what just happened there. Super Links. It didn't make me like James McCloud anymore. It kind of made me think he's stupid. But I have a feeling that's how all the voice acting in this is going to be. But anyway, that's that for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next one sometime else.